In this video, we will demonstrate how the Zendaya Cameo plugin can create and use digital thread projects to manage the intermodel relations it creates. In its earliest versions, the plugin stored these relations locally in the active SysML model. This capability is still available, but it is only suitable in a few situations. To support scalability and collaboration in an enterprise environment, it is better to store intermodel relations on Syndia Cloud, where they can be accessed by multiple users and applications. These relations are organized as digital thread projects. The digital thread starts with the individual model repositories, for example, requirements, SysML, and PLM. Engineering models with artifacts, internal relations, and attributes are stored and managed within each repository. Syndia sits above those repositories and adds a layer of intermodel relations between artifacts in different repositories. Syndia partitions those intermodel relations into groups called digital thread projects. Each digital thread project contains one or more intermodel relations that define a specific system model. Syndia 3.6 introduces access control for digital thread projects. Users will not automatically have access to all digital thread projects, providing greater data security in an enterprise environment. We will demonstrate this using Syndia as a Magic Draw plugin. As usual, we have opened a Magic Draw SysML model containing the Syndia profile. Before we launch the Syndia dashboard, we will check the settings by right clicking a model element and selecting Syndia Settings. Under the Syndia Store Settings heading, the first item, Select Primary Store, has a drop down menu with two choices Cloud or SysML model. If we choose SysML model, Syndia stores all intermodel connections in the SysML model, just as we discussed earlier. If we choose Cloud, then the following items in this section become relevant. You will need to obtain the server settings and your account name and password from your Syndia Cloud Administrator. If you have changed any settings, click Apply before closing. Now that Cloud has been selected as the primary store, launch the Syndia dashboard in the usual way. The first window that appears is titled Select or Create Digital Thread Project. We can create a new project by entering a name, key, and description. Your organization should set the naming conventions that you use so that the confusion about which project is which is minimized. The project key is a unique string of 6 to 10 characters. When these fields are completed, click the Create New button. The new project now appears on the list. The project list contains all the projects for which I have some level of permission. We discuss project permissions in the tutorial section on the Sundaya Web Dashboard, Part 1 Introduction, especially Video 1.5. When I create a new project, I am automatically assigned all permissions, but I can only add other users to the project and assign their permissions through the Sundaya Web Dashboard, not through the plugin. Once created, projects may only be deleted by the Syndia System Administrator. I can select any of the projects on the list, click Open, and that project will be the active project for this SysML model until the SysML model is closed. In Syndia 3.6, the digital thread project I have selected restricts my ability to see and change relations outside of that project. For example, in the Connection Manager, all relations I create will become part of the active project. In the Connection Browser and Connection Search tabs, I will only see relations for the active project. If I right-click an element and select Syndia Open Connected Artifacts, I will only see artifacts connected 
within this Digital Thread project. The tutorial demonstrations in the introductory section for the Sundea Web Dashboard discuss Digital Thread projects much more extensively. Review those videos for additional information.